Okay, welcome back. In the previous lecture, we looked at two different methods to find the outstanding balance of a loan. We looked at the retrospective method and we also looked at the prospective method. So you should now be able to do the exercises on section 3.1 to 3.3 at the back of chapter 3. You should be able to do the first two exercises there. So in this lecture, I'm going to look at the second one of those exercises. A loan of a thousand rands has been secured at 20% per annum compound and monthly. The loan is to be repaid in 12 equal monthly installments. Then in the A part, we want to find the value of the monthly payments and the B part, find the outstanding balance if the loan is settled after the second payment is made. Now this is a nice exercise because it makes use of the knowledge that you've gained in chapter 2 as well as the new knowledge from chapter 3. So the A part is actually revision from chapter 2. Now the information we have is we have the loan size so that we have the present value of the loan which is a thousand grants. The interest rate is 20% per annum compounded monthly and we have 12 equal monthly installments. So we start out with the formula for the present value of an annuity. So this is our basic formula for the present value of an annuity, but in the A part we actually want to find the payment values. So to find the payments, um, and we've done this um, many times in chapter 2, so to find the payment, it is the following. And this is everything to the minus 1. So that is the same as taking the present value and dividing it by this factor here. Okay, and we have the present value, the loan size is a thousand rands. And then my effective monthly interest rate is the 20% and then I divide it by 12. Um, and I prefer to keep it in this form because it doesn't round off to a nice decimal. So I keep it as 0.2 over 12 um, in this example. Then my K is 12. And all of this to the minus 1. Okay, and you can do the calculations. Um, for this, when I did the calculations, I got that the equal payments um, are equal to 92 rands and 63 cents. So now we can look at the B part uh, where we want to find the outstanding balance if the loan is settled after the second payment is made. I'm going to solve this making use of the retrospective method and the prospective method. Uh, because all the payments are equal, um, you can use either one of the two methods, but I'm going to illustrate both of them again. Okay, first of all, for the retrospective method, so remember for the retrospective method to get the outstanding balance, and that is now at the time t2, I take the value of the original loan at time t2. Now the value of the original loan is a single amount that I moved through time. The original loan size was a thousand rands. Now I use the formula for compounding interest and I move it forward to two time periods and then I subtract from that the future value of an annuity. I've already made two payments of 92 rand 63 cents and I subtract the value of those two payments, the future value of those two payments I subtract from the first part here. 
So I'm making use of the future value formula for an annuity. So it's payment, which we worked out in the first part of the lecture. And now I use the formula for the future value of an annuity. Okay, and if you subtract these two from each other, I got an outstanding balance of 8, 4, 6 and 81 cents. That's the retrospective method. So let's look at the prospective method. Now for the prospective method, we stand at time T2 and we find the present value of all the payments that still need to be done in the future. So we make use of the present value formula for an annuity. The present value formula for an annuity, we have the payments. And now my K is the number of payments that still need to be done. In total, we have 12 payments. We have already made two, so we are left with 10 payments outstanding. And you should get the same answer or an answer that is very close. It might differ with a few decimals because of some rounding off when we did the exercise or when we calculated the payments.